Hello lovely people and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I have what I find to be a super satisfying bookshelf tour and arrangement for you to enjoy. If it wasn't obvious, I am a book and manga girly and a majority of my life revolves around such. So since I had to move my 500 plus books to a new home recently, I thought it'd be a good time to showcase my collection. This shelf is a somewhat of a more recent addition to my library and I absolutely love it. It's amazing for manga. I don't yet have enough for this shelf to be exclusively manga, so every other shelf is just some favorite books of mine. I had to record this vertical, otherwise you don't get the whole view, so I hope that's okay and it still comes out okay quality. I actually was recently able to complete my Beastars collection and I'm so happy to finally have them all. They fit perfectly in the spaces that I left, by the way. Now I just really need to work on my Bungo Stray Dogs collection. <laughs> As many of you know, my cat Zuko is a recurring star in my videos. He was so adorable sitting here, I tried to move him out of the way without disturbing him. He, he's just so cute, I can't. As far as books go, I am a very diverse reader. It's very hard for me to fit pick favorites with anything in my life, but if I had to rank them, my top genres would be science fiction, books that make me cry, whatever genre that could be, fantasy, rom-coms or contemporary, especially queer and rivals to lovers, historical fiction, and then just everything else. The shelf has some of my absolute favorite books on it. I am an extreme sucker for sar the sarcastic AI characters, so Mbot from Skyward, oh, he's my baby. <laughs> These next two shelves I have always, always arranged by color. I love how it looks, but I'm also too organized to separate any of my series, so this section is a lot of standalone books. It also gets reorganized pretty frequently as I add and give away books. Now I like to keep books I adore at eye level on my shelves, but I sacrifice for the aesthetics here. Don't get me wrong, there are still books in this section that I will scream about forever. The Martian, The Kiss Quotient, The Girl Who Fell Beneath the Sea are all such beautiful, beautiful books. I'm sorry if that upside down book bothered anyone too much. I fixed it right away. <laughs> Speaking of books that made me cry, Salt to the Sea and They Both Die at the End are chef's kiss. <laughs> I also cannot recommend The Miracle of the Namaya General Store enough. It's such a good Japanese story through time with a plot twist that just brings it all together so beautifully. I found some extra books I needed to squeeze in their proper spots here. So do you guys like arranging shelves by color or does it bother you? I just can't help but find it so satisfying. Also this freaking middle grade book made me cry too. Now this shelf I had some trouble trying to arrange. I absolutely love my Brandon Sanderson books, which if you've seen my Year of Sanderson series, you would know. 
but I have such mismatched editions right now and arranging them is quite hard. So this is just the arrangement I ended up with after some trial and error. I have all the nicer editions I own on a shelf by themselves in my bedroom, by the way. And again, I love, love, love my sci-fi books immensely. I hope to get way more into sci-fi this year too. I really thought by now I would have less favorites showing up on my shelves as we get closer to the bottom, but just editing this video has me like, oh my god, I love these books. Like the Dreamer trilogy and Dance of Thieves, Daughter of the Pirate King, and If We Were Villains. Ugh, I freaking love those books. Alright, how many SJM fans are watching? I personally will always love Throne of Glass the most, don't at me. But I must say, however, my love for the SJM style books has decreased quite a lot over the years. But they still hold a very special place in my heart. They got me out of a reading slump that I didn't even know I was in years ago. And I can appreciate them for what they are because of it. Speaking of getting into reading, I was a part of the vampire renaissance that came after Twilight. Yes, I read and devoured Twilight, but my true piece de resistance was the Vampire Academy series. I recently reread them as an adult and um, it doesn't necessarily hold up to my memory of it, but it's still quite special to me. Now I don't like a lot of knackage on my shelves, but I do have some things I like to display, like this Mbot, my little Gigi, this random assortment of things. A little Kaladin candle, this sweet little fox, the child, and this if you know you know secret item that I won't disclose. Alright, quick pause to the video because I got a knock on the door and we got this really adorable edible arrangement for Christmas. Oh my god, that's so cute! Now a lot of what's left is a combination of me and my boyfriend's books, and they're not as aesthetically pleasing, so I have no idea how I'm going into organizing this shelf. I also really hate this freaking light. The good news is that there are so many long series over here that I can at least put them all together pretty nicely. So we have the Dresden files all lined up here, and then I just mixed in some other small series beside it. And then we have a whole shelf full of Anne Rice and Stephen King. Alright, this section. These shelves were a lot of just not pretty and random books. Not that we don't like them, they're just not the most pleasing to look at and honestly a lot of them are educational. So I did my best to organize these in whatever way wouldn't drive me crazy. And then of course it drove me crazy, so I rearranged the bottom by color and I guess it moderately helped? I don't know. And then I just fit the rest of what I had in the best arrangement I could.
I personally find it quite funny to put some of my more sexual books tucked in randomly beside my boyfriend's Halo books. It just makes me giggle a little every time I see it. I also like to sometimes outface a book when the shelf isn't looking the prettiest and use a really pretty cover to do so. It just breaks up the monotony a little bit for me. And then I was able to easily slide in all of my mass market paperbacks right on the corner. This tiger was a really sentimental gift for my dad and he always lives on my shelf somewhere. Assassin's Creed by Wheel of Time, why not? Scrooge and this guy by my boyfriend's books. A little touch of me to brighten them up. And there we have it. That's the end of my shelves. <laughs> I hope you found this satisfying and let me know if you saw any of your favorites. Have a great day and I don't know, eat a banana or something. <laughs> Bye!